Hello, so we're back. Happy New Year. Okay. 2022 and uh, uh, you know we are doing the same thing we are on the same point like the last year nothing changed just we are getting older okay so what do we have today we have an Asus laptop I look at here and here yeah you can, hear, you can see the hinge is like popping out from the plastic we have to fix this yeah and the second problem it's another problem here if I power on you can see the text but it's no backlight like nothing it's just the text okay so we have to fix the backlight and the hinge issue and I mean we have to fix the back cover yeah so we can fix it probably it's just another day people ask you know what sorry you are not doing video anymore on this channel but the the fact the, the the fact is January is the most dead month of the year. I mean, you know, the customer they spend money over the holidays and now they will not fix nothing on January. So usually the things start going nice from February. I mean we have jobs but just boring jobs. But being home, I did a lot of uh, videos on my other channel with the Helium Fengi. But don't worry, now we uh, we start uh, we start repairing. Probably from February we'll have a lot more jobs. January is always a dead month. Believe in any business. Okay, so we can see here is broken. Yeah, you can see. So we have to fix that. I can see some liquid damage here. Yeah. We have to find out why why is no backlight. That's the first thing is what we have to find out. Let's take the screen out. Uh by the way, I love the screwdriver from uh from anywhere I mean so useful so I'm using same uh, you know they comes with the tips with this I'm using same one on the phones and on the laptop same okay so it opened the screen let's check because i'm thinking maybe it's a connector issue that's why it's not backlight the connector looks nice it looks like it was never open we can see the the sticky band here now you should never unplug this connector if the charger is plugged in or if the battery is plugged in because bad things can happen Okay, so I'll plug it. Let's plug it back. Let's test one more time. Power on. And we still have no backlight. We can see we can see the writing on the screen, but actually it's no backlight. No, it's not working. Okay, let's power off. And uh, let's start doing some uh, testing. You know? Let's see what is missing from here. I mean, what voltage is missing? I can see a fuse.
Okay, so we can see the inverter here. You can see the inverter. They have the LED connector there. Let's check together. We should have 19. We should have 19 uh, always here, yeah? Not sure if you can spot the fuse. You can spot the fuse. The fuse looks like a capacitor, but uh, it's white. You can spot it. Let's see. So we have ground and fuse input, and we have no voltage. Wow. Let's power on the laptop. Okay, we power on the laptop. Let's see. But this is a smart one. So we have 11.4 and after fuse. After fuse, we have 11.3. So the fuse is good. Let's see if it's boosting, if the inverter is boosting. Thirty-three volts. Check on the screen. You can see 32 volts. Wow, that's bad. That means the screen is gone. Let me check the voltage on the screen. Yeah, you can see on the screen 43 volts. That means the LED circuit is dead. That's the reason why it's no backlight. What we can do? Nothing. <laughs> I don't think we can do anything on this one. I mean, we can uh, replace the screen. Wow, I really thought, you know, it's we have some voltage missing or something. Yeah. How are those new screens? I mean, I didn't open these new screens. Let me unplug the connector. I can see, you see, these are the, the slim, the slim screens, yeah? They are easy to, bo to be open or, uh, or what? Yeah, let's see how it is the screen inside. Yeah, let's see if we can fix it. We can fix it. Probably not, but I mean the screen is is that this is supposed to be replaced. So even if we uh, are damaging the screen, it's fine. At least we learn something. So actually, the screen is not stuck. It's only with this black tape. Hmm? I don't believe I'm the only one which is curious how this is inside. I mean, no, how is this? In, because we've seen before LED screens. Just, you know, if it can be fixed.
Okay, so that's the screen. Where are the LEDs? Are on one side. Okay, let me let me desolder this, yeah. Can I catch the bike from the warehouse? No. no. Let's disconnect. Uh, the LED ribbon cable. You know what, I should not play next to the keyboard, right? More temperature. 380. Less air. Okay, so we desolder the the ribbon cable from the LEDs. Now let's take the board out with the screen. Okay, I think we can get the screen out. Wow, there are so many layers here. Okay, we'll take the screen out. Yeah. Yeah, let me finish, Lorenz. Okay, so we took the screen out. This is the white thingy. So the LEDs are here, yeah, on one side. Right or not? Where are the LEDs? No, are here on the bottom. You know what? I don't want to touch this thingy because uh, we can leave a lot of prints. If you leave prints after you fix it, if you fix it, uh, you know, it looks bad. Okay, so we took this thingy out. You can see the LEDs there. Now, how we can find the faulty one? That's the question. Let me get the laptop out because they don't need the laptop. Can we find a faulty LED here? Microscope. Okay, so I'll get the power supply, I'll limit the current, and let's test the LEDs, yeah? We should start with the first one. Okay, so this is good. Too much current. Okay, this is good. 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 
good. Good. Oh, all are good. Good. All the LEDs are good. Ah. That's bad. Okay, that's bad. We can have like a crack solder. Let's check the tracks. Yeah. BCC, we have five wires. Uh, let's see which is the, where is the input, yeah? Let me get the screen. Let's see what is what is the input. Yeah, so here and we're gonna check. Let me check with my other BP multimeter. Okay, so here we have 33 volts, and the ground, the ground is only here, but the ground is from, the ground, this, okay, it's, it's, it's complicated to explain, but probably it's going to the chip. But it's basically the screen is it's 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 uh split on section and uh the section uh the sections uh plus is common and the section ground are uh, going to the chip you have few sections <sighs> okay probably the screen is dead but we can check so I said the first pin from the middle is plus, yeah? So let's switch to 30 volts. This is plus. So this section is good. You can see it's coming on the light. This is good. This is good. And the last one is good. Okay, the last one is, is strange. Check one more time. So this is not working.
Or it is working. Come on. No, it's not working. It's working only when I push it down. It's working, working, working. But this is not working. So probably the truck. Yeah, the truck is gone. The truck is gone. Here. So I broke it or was broken from before? Huh? We don't know. <sighs> yeah, it's not my fault. Nah, I'm here to fix things, not to broke things. Uh, let's see where this truck is going, yeah? Let's see where it's going. It's going here on the on the on the okay we can use a wire let's use a wire and we can repair the truck if that's the issue just assuming I didn't broke the truck myself yeah just assuming uh, it was like that from before We can assume that. We can assume I didn't broke the truck. A bit of rosin. Rosin is good. Oh my 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 hand! What's wrong with my hand? My hand is shaking. Too much coffee. Okay. Okay, soldered. Let's come with the truck. Let's come with the wire here. Good. Now the question is, do this wire can get broke again? Yeah. So what we are doing on this case? To be sure this wire it will not get broken. What we are doing? Hot glue. Hot glue. Exactly. Exactly. Hot glue. Hot glue. Okay. 
Okay. Good. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Good, so each foil. Okay. Good, let's put the screws back. Good. Let's solder back the thingy. Uh, we'll try to solder this thingy manually without the hot air. Yeah. Good. Good. Seems okay. The wire is coming here. Okay, let's test to see if it's working. Uh, it's not taking current. It's not taking current. Okay.
let me understand how this thing is working. So here is light, here is light, here is light. Yeah, the last one is not working. What I'm doing here, why, why is it not working? Why can I not test? Okay, so that's plus, yeah, that's plus. This is plus. It's not plus. No, it's not. This is plus. Okay, are all working. Let's test. So check here. Uh -huh. Yeah, of course we have to put back the screen. Yeah, well, it's working fine. That's how you fix a screen. So I didn't broke that track. Actually, that track was broken from before. The screen is dirty, but looks perfectly fine to me. Let's arrange the, the layers. It is fine, that is fine.
Okay, so we put back the foil over the, the screen. That's good. That's okay. So the screen has to be here. Let's test it. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Solid, solid, solid. That's fantastic. So all what is left, yeah. All what is left is to see how we are dealing with the hinge. Because the hinge is broken here. Look, one part from the hinge. So actually, this seems more complicated to me instead of the screen. So what do you think? Well, how we can do it? What can I do is to lose the hinge and that will be a good idea to open from the back and lose the hinge. We still have the other one is good. This one we can fix it but it's no way we can give warranty on uh, if we only fix this. If we fix this and lose the hinge from behind, then yeah, it will be fine. Yeah, so it's exactly broken from here. Okay, so let's do it. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. We have hot glue. So first we have here. Here. And here. And then we have the metal uh, frame from the screen. That can help us a little bit. Like that. Good. Let's put the screw back. Now the hot glue, it will help us to bond the back cover with the front cover. And that it, it will give us a little bit of straight. Okay.
Let me let me put the screws on the on the screen. Power off. Let me put the screws back. So what we did here, we did a very expensive job, like screen and 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 and, and the back cover, yeah. We did a very expensive job and a very cheap one, and everyone will be happy. I mean, we customer, everyone will be happy, yeah. Right? Now let's do it. Yeah. Okay, let's come with the front cover. And we can't, we can't do it. And this frame. The screen is working. Let's wait for the hinge to cool down. It's still warm. No, the screen it will not pop out. It's kept on the inside from uh, by the frame, and we stick back the thingy. Yeah, so the screen will be fine. My concern is not the screen; it's the hinge. Okay, but like how I said, we'll, we'll uh, I will open the the laptop and I will lose the the the, the hinge. The idea of this video is fixing the screen. Yeah, open, check the LEDs. You know, the, probably the first time I will check the trucks. You remember we found a broken truck, which I, I thought, you know, I broken, but no. Usually I'm careful. So the original fault was a broken truck on the, on the, on, from the light, from the LEDs. Okay. It's still hot. It's not hot, it's warm. I'm not sure if this bond uh, in a proper way, the front cover with the back cover. Okay, but I will open and uh, I will lose the hinges, no point to keep you here, yeah?
okay i'll close now thank you for watching like and subscribe if you like the video and uh, see you on the next one bye